Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Dead Air. Coming back to you here for episode two of our Star Drive 2 playthrough with the, the new patch being out. Let's see. Just to remind us where we were at. I know up here we found another nice planet that is occupied by another race, so we're gonna have to, if we want it, we're gonna have to take that from them. But we do have a planet here we can colonize that has its, it has some upsides to it. It's not horrible, but it's not good. The best part about it is, is the proximity uh, to this debris field, which can give us uh, quite a few benefits there. Uh, bonus money and research. Uh, and this is just bonus research. But let's see what we're trying to do here. I think I was already trying to build a construction ship. Yes. Okay. I want this construction ship ASAP. Got it down to six turns. Reason being is building stuff here. I mean, this is like a real priority for the Chuck as well. Unless maybe they have something else. Maybe they have another field over here, anything that they found. Maybe they're building something somewhere else. But I don't know if I can possibly get there before them or not. But I'm going to try. That's, I'm maxing, giving maximum effort to building that construction ship now. But we got to see whether or not I'm going to be able to pull off my... Uh, Be able to pull off having my colony ship actually make it to this planet. Uh, the way that it calculates fuel usage, like right here, I have it selected. It says 100% because I'm, I'm flying completely inside my own area of influence. I get free refueling here. But whenever I did it from my home world to there, it doesn't break it up. It doesn't say, "Oh, you can get to here for free with not without using fuel," and then calculate. It doesn't seem to do two separate calculations. So it calculates the whole thing as if I'm having to travel the whole distance without any refueling. And it just looks like a distance I would think I could make it. We're going to see. But for right now, this... My scout ship is up here. Is pretty well trapped. If I started bringing them back between... They would start... He would run out of fuel quickly start traveling at half speed, then really slow down going through the nebula and have to, that, the ship would be tied up forever. If I can actually get up here, I'd rather refuel it up here after I colonize the planet. But, uh, let's see. So I'm doing everything. Everything's in the construction. Yeah. Six turns. I don't know, I'm like nervous about this. Let's see if what we can do. If it won't make it, then this one right here, when it refuels, I can bring it up here and group up with it, and it should be able to share its relatively larger fuel supply with it, and that should extend the range. But is that going to be necessary? If I can get to there with 6% left, I can guarantee you I can colonize that planet if I'm sitting right next to it with 6% left. But that's taking the straight path. I don't know why it wants to do that angular. It wants to take you through the center of the hex for some reason, things like that. I, I don't understand why it does that. But it looks like I'm going to be able to make it there. And we are still four four turns away ah oh, that scared me red crystals okay I would expect the red crystals are going to attack the main area we don't have any new colonies down here so they should be attacking the home world which has a uh, 
it has a space station, a battle station, that should be able to very, you know, it's a very normal thing. Let's, if, that this happens basically every game. They can't take on a, uh, a battle station or a space station, however you want to rephr uh, phrase it. But I want to come out here. With this ship, I'm going to come down uh, just to explain what I'm doing. But whenever you touch, this ship has a sensor array on it, being an explorer ship. All right, an explorer ship can not only see the the uh, uh, the sector it's in; it can see one sector all around it. So whenever I get to this position here, I'll be able to see. I mean, in this sector, I'll be able to see every sector, but just coming down the line, once I get to there, I can just come down this line, just scraping each of these two hexes, and I'll be, I'll be scanning, basically, I'll be having sensor range, everything from this edge of the map to over here. So basically, I'll have these four, you know, four lanes wide. It's just a way of trying to maximize my exploration. And okay, there you go. Now, this one has three hundred fuel. So, this is definitely going to make. If if the colony ship can get here, if I can colonize this before the Chuck get there my construction ship is definitely going to be able to make it there. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't need to mess up a... I need to get that research lab done. I have... enough... For, uh, whatever, leave it sitting there in case I forget. I don't have any construction going on anyway. Oh, my plan, by the way, on this research, I want to get the research lab done. If you'll notice, I can't mouse over it over here, but over here to the right side of the screen, at the bottom of the research lab window, it shows you plus one research per scientist, plus five flat research. Once I have that, uh, I can throw all, you know, as many people as I need to into research and be able to research things much faster. I want this automated rover bay and soil enrichment. This is going to allow me to have far greater construction. But right now, there you go, even better. I noticed having this here, apparently I've gotten, I recently got another addition and I have uh, a surplus of two food. Well, these guys make two apiece, so this just... Now I'm making exactly enough food for myself. I've got to remember, if I do that colony up there, I need to pull one up because I'm going to have to be able to ship food to the colony or they'll starve. Don't let me forget that. As if we were doing this like this is on Twitch or something. <laughs> okay. That is what I'm wanting. Okay. Research lab is done. Yeah. That window here, these, this thing here is a new, newer addition. That's, that wasn't there before. Okay, now that I have that done, the freighter can sit at the bottom. 18 turns, 15 turns, 12 turns. Let's do it. By the way, message me, or not message me, pardon me, leave me a comment if you watch this. If you think that what I'm doing here and focus and all my effort, and I do know this is creating pollution and so on, uh, so I'm getting some wastage here, but I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to maximize 
I'm trying to do things. I'm trying to. I'm thinking that this is the fastest way to do it. Could be completely wrong. Okay, that has me at 45% fuel. I think I'm good from there. That's just going to get a bunch of nice exploration done. Well, we got to see what pops up. If I end up getting uh, some anomalies over here, I want to check those out. I'll choose the research. Yes, automated rover bay. But it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be... I don't have any research points going on right at the moment, so... So... Get you coming up here. If ships just happen to pour in over here and like settle this and take that right before I get there, this uh, interesting stuff. Crystalline field. That's plus five production and plus two BC per credit. I need something close by though. I need a planet nearby. That's gonna go on its normal path. We're gonna find out what this is. I don't even veer off my path. This planet is not the worst. It is not the worst. It's not good, but I need something closer to that. I don't know if it's really worth it just yet. Let's see if there's anything else that we come across that might make it more worth it to get a planet. Reason being, like, oh, well, like I explained up here, the main reason why this is so valuable here and the, to get the construction ship of If I were to just have a construction ship here without with no colony here, the station that I build there wouldn't be worth it. I mean, this would be my closest. It's just too far away. You have to pay for it. it by the way, it costs. It, basically, there's a maintenance cost to it, and that maintenance cost is based on the distance from a planet. So that keeps you from just going across the galaxy and dropping a station to be able to have there and refuel. And so it's like it's... Uh, you, you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, scared me. Why does it have to be such a noise? Discovered a freighter. Okay, I got a free freighter. So I had four. Let's see. I love free stuff. Because five. Because normally you get you get two. Oh, hello. All kinds of stuff. Okay, so this is production and credits. Five production and two credits. This is a bunch of, what is it, six, seven, seven research. And this is, uh, just owning that sector. I don't have to have a station there. Wait, a mining station upgrade built here will send three production per turn to the nearest friendly. But it gives me a three AU uh, per turn bonus to fleet speed. That's amazing. I want to have control of that sector. This is all good enough stuff that I want to plant it close enough to it. Let's be able to, I want to be able to research, I want to be able to see what's here. But, this is too important. Got to uh, go through the wormhole. Got to poke your nose and your head through there. Tell me where that goes. I feel like I could win a race because I can see I have this is a an explorer ship that has a sensor on board. So I can if there were ships in any of these zones right here, I would see them. So I'm definitely there's no way he's gonna beat me to the planet to colonize it. Did I go through that? Oh, it's shooting up heat. Well, well, I know that just has the crush of swarm. You know what? I can explore this stuff up here. Maybe even 
poke over here enough to see, like, what's here. I'm going to be colonizing this. So when I do that, I can come here to refuel. And I think it would be best to just do that, to refuel here, go back through the wormhole. And try to see what's at these plant on these in these systems. I almost need another. It would cost me a bunch of money at first. This construction ship, it's going to be a while for it to get here. If I'm assuming I actually get to build both here and here, it's going to be caught up for a while. I need another construction ship to come here. This is kind of behind me. This end of it is okay right now. But you want to control the ends of these things most of the time. I don't know that this one is very strategic though. It's just not that strategic. It just goes from this corner. I don't know. We'll have to see what all's there. I'm not going to build... I'm not going to stop what I'm doing and build a construction ship just to secure this right now. Okay. All right. Let's see. Get my colony ship. Colonize it with 1% left in the tank. Because if it ran out, since I don't have any kind of colony or, or stationary thing, if it ran out right there, it would turn around and start going at half speed all the way back to my homeworld. And even slower than half speed going through the nebula. Okay, and I did remember it at negative one. Uh, build me a starbase research. And I know he's not really going to be able to do any of that in like 300 turns for that. But starvation, yep. I got to put somebody else, which is going to mean I'm pulling somebody else off other duties off the production. But I've got to have the food. But that slows that down. But we needed this. It's really good that we that I got there at all. I don't know the construction ship is on its way. It can refuel here, but um, and it says it still has 19% left when it gets there. But it's going to be quite a few turns before I get there. He still has this Chuck still has time to get there and snag that. And I don't have anything in the south right now at all. No. So. Oh. Okay, and it's already refueled. You know what I might do? I was just thinking about exploring down here. I was waiting to refuel it to be able to explore around here. My priority needs to be down here. So if this other one was going to be coming back here, then forget that. We'll just get this one. We'll, we'll take this one through the wormhole and basically swap places. This one will start handling the south, and this one will start handling up here. That makes more sense than what I had planned. Uh, who we got now? Cortisine Collective. Oh, how's my shell polish look? Good. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is so exciting. Yep, turn it on. Ahem. I kind of like the idea that these things are that uh, vain. <laughs> it's like... Okay, let's get back to business here.
We're at 20 minutes right now and counting. I guess I can go straight to there. I mean, even if the crushes start chasing after me, I'm, I think I'm good. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Oh, another big crystalline fleet. Medium toxic. Oh, that's not great. World trees. Bonus production, but removes food. So, five production per worker. Up a, Nothing great. Nothing great. That's where I wanted to get to, just so I can see what's there. I still have 20% of my fuel. That should be plenty to... plenty to be able to come back around and get there to refuel. Well, my, my construction ship is getting close. Where am I at here? On What am I having to remind myself? Two more turns, I'll have that built. And it'll be time to really to jump on the research for the rope. Which, by the way, that's the thing, is this right here, my construction capability, guy. I think it's funny how close you have to be. Okay, this one's plus two on production right now. That's 145 turns just to make a single starbase. And again, if I hadn't already said it, I've got this little box here that I can't move. So one thing that's bad is it covers this. I can't see what number I need. I see it's grayed out so that I can't do it. I don't have enough, but I can't tell how much it's wanting to charge me. If you don't know what that is, that's basically a buy. If you buy, if you spend enough money, whatever you're constructing, when you buy that, the next turn it will finish. So it's a way, it's a way to rush the build or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I got both my explorer ships are being chased at the moment. But I do believe both should get away. Wait, did I? See, that's see. One of the things about it is the more that you use, the more inefficiency. At least with production, because you have these other issues. But, like, one worker puts out six, two puts out nine, you know, so the second one is only half as effective. So you kind of hate doing that, but what else, what am I really going to be built? I mean, I can finish up that fleet freighter, but this is, has me at 14 turns on the rover bay, and that has me at 12. Uh, just let's go all in on getting the rover bay. I want it ASAP. I'm getting close here, about to refuel, and I'm going to be there. And also, by the way, the closer you are to it, the faster it builds, by the way. So, I would have the advantage if we were both trying to build stations there at the same time. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't see what's here. Another crystalline fleet. Another big one. Ah, <sighs> medium barren. Okay, that's... Okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all basically... They're roughly the same. None of them are great. What if I just path two here? Is it... Whatever. Seems like a waste to run all the way to the center of this anyway. 
Okay, back through the wormhole. Down to here. How much fuel do I have? That'll leave me at 61%. See, by the way, this is one of my freighters. This is no doubt carrying food up here to this colony. And I'm back up to two food. Uh, Kate, I don't know what happened. I got somebody else working on the farm. What if I need a second construction ship? I'm going to need to be able to send a construction ship down there. Or, uh... Do that first. Just... Automated rover bay. That takes off one day. I'm not going to trade six, I mean, out of those days. I mean, that's I would be giving up you know, at least at this stage of the game, that's a lot of construction to be, or production to be giving up. This must be the home of the, uh, the red crystallins. Uh, he's going for the black hole. Shit. Uh, I gotta just beat him to the black hole. And then race him up here. I was gonna go here first. But I'm in position. I can definitely beat him to the black hole. I'm thinking here, the idea that I have in my head right now, is I'm thinking that he's going to continue coming here because I'm not going to have the station built yet, and basically we're going to be in a build race. Uh, and, who, and as soon as I get my first station finished, which it doesn't have to be, you know, I don't have to have the science station in place or anything, but it's just a refueling station. As soon as I have that, I want to move immediately up to here and drop one here. I just want to claim the territory. But I, I should be able to, if he redirects himself and then just turns around and goes up here, and I've got my space in the way, I don't think he'll try to cut through my space. I don't know. This is a bit of a, this is a game, I'm serious, if I wasn't, uh, if, what is this? Uh, okay, construction of that's been completed. If I were just playing this game and not doing a playthrough, not doing this YouTube video for it or anything, I would, uh, I think I probably would have restarted. <laughs> but, as I said, whenever I, I saw how bad things were, I thought this could make for a more entertaining video this way. What's here? Okay, another big crystal blob. Great. Huge, arid, rich. Okay, that does have some food. Production per worker is eight. Ancient mines. That, that's one thing that's boosting the production per worker, no doubt. Fifteen probably. This is another nice big one to get to. I should be able, not only, I'm closer, I mean, I have that advantage, well, 
my ship is closer. I'm going to be there first. Which it takes a while to travel this distance because the black hole, it slows you down to what? It's 5 AU per turn. So that's the slowest of it. That's half as much as you go through a nebula out even. But the fact that I have a planet right here, I'm able to build my station faster than he could build his. A swamp. Okay, minus 5% pollution. Is that throughout my empire? It must be, right? I can't see it because of the thing. If I got two more of them, 10% approval throughout the empire? Oh, that would be sweet. Uh, this is the fact it's got its own food. This is uh, definitely definitely one to possibly grab there. Um, two, three, four. <laughs> Hmm. See, this is only three away from here. I don't know. Let me see what's here. I don't... See, this one's two, three, and four. This is, from here, it's two, three, and four from there. This is the better planet, and it's also closer, much closer to, or one space closer, uh, to a wormhole that might be kind of useless. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know how worried I am about that wormhole. But like a planet like this, I'm more worried about grabbing faster due to the fact that it's there's nothing there. You know, like here you got the crystalline entities and so on. So that'll stop the AI from trying to, you know, from colonizing it. But Okay, that's got plenty of gas now. So Let's go around and explore some more. Oh, I haven't explored that space. You can see a slight difference in the color. You know, this is uh, this is explored. That's unexplored. So, all right. Ruthless, Martha. Suppressing rebellions and so on, merciless. A hundred and fifty billion credit and three per turn. No. I don't need you that bad. I don't really need you. If you don't know what that is, that's uh, if you're not used to the game, that's the main way you get heroes is you just get a random offer. And in that random offer, oh, let's see, I've seen it here for the first time. Uh, no, neither one really amounts to anything. Okay. Okay, got that done. Now. Ultra rich. Hey, two population. Just because uh, it has ancient habitats. So a two population. Asteroid belt. Ultra rich. Production per worker, eight. 
a research for scientists who, well, we're not going to be doing research there. It'll be all about production on an asteroid belt. Oh, medium swamp. One delicacy. 222 with a population of six, but it has that delicacy. What was this one? Oh, and this has the uh, Proto Cash. Protofill cash, yeah. This is 232 with a population of 4. But it has 2 protofill cash. Which would I rather have? I mean, this is one more of these. I'm going to be trying to stop. Maybe I'll come back to that one later. That'll be kind of behind the lines, I see. So spaces are one, two, three, four. It would be just two to this. It would be just two. This is the better location for what I'm trying to do. I mean, this is some stuff here that wouldn't be bad to spread to. But... Let's see, if I just go to there, oh, it's still zero. Okay, I'm going to be running out of fuel right about there. But, you know, I don't know what choice I'll have. I'm going to be getting there. All right, choosing the research. Just got that. It's going to be soil enrichment. We have a lot of planets. We're doing really well on finding planets we can grow food on. So I would rather go with that. That's free at the very top right. You see, it costs zero credits for soil enrichment to be on a planet. Aeroponic farming costs two, but you can grow that three food, the flat three food on anything. You can grow that even on asteroid belts. But we're going to go with the soil enrichment. But our big thing right now is going to be production. Of an automated rover bay. Yeah, automated rover bay, it only takes 80. So this is much easier to produce. Fourteen turns, nine turns, seven turns. Soul enrichment 19 away, 13 away. Well, this is the planet, and really, this planet's not needing the automated. We don't have, we're not hurting for the automated rover base so bad here. This looks like a decent balance. We'd like to get that soul enrichment. I'll tell you what, do I really want the soil enrichment or... Oh, yeah, that's going to cost a lot more. I was going to say the Imperial Bank get us some more money. Oh, you know what? Kind of going over here. We're over 39 minutes now. So... So he's still coming, and I'm... I guess that's six turns away from having a supply station that's going to claim it for me. I think once mine's done, I don't think he can build anymore. But I'm going to need to head directly to here and try to beat him to here as well. And the thing is, uh, again, it doesn't appear that there's anything here for him. Well, don't really know about that one, I don't think. But it doesn't appear... Uh, if this is his closest planet, then he's two away, and I'm only one away. So I should be able to build my station faster, maybe by one turn. Uh, 
Oh, I feel like I got some exciting stuff going on. But that's going to be all for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've been listening to Dead Air. Please do like, subscribe, uh, and leave a comment if you would. All right? And do have a good evening, good day, good morning.